Why you sitting up with the only person that have a dressing room, bitch? L, you sitting up in a fucking dress, and you the only person that have a dressing room, bitch? And you come out looking like that? Last time on the Chasing Dallas Season 2 reunion. You was never proud because you couldn't afford it, bitch, so let's get going. And you couldn't afford it, you broke ass hoe. You yeah. broke as fuck. Everybody know you broke, broke bitch. I have plenty of streams of income, multiples well, that I they? work. They? They're not Nobody for you to knows. they're not for you to but see. You still didn't say what you did. You said I have multiple streams, I have this, but what are they? <laughs> After I saw you sit there and try to insinuate some stupid ass shit with Carrie about me and my health. Oh, you wanna be cute with me and go below the belt? Say I'm gonna go below the belt as well. Ariel, with the loss of Malaysia Booker, where were you when you got only one of my kids modeled for him and my ex-boyfriend, which is my kid's other father. Oh, I thought he was your friend. child too. You know, you know. Okay, I didn't know. What was the question? I'm sorry. Like, baby, let's, let's be clear. Let's be clear. Just because I give you a compliment don't mean I'm What kind of compliment? Let's be clear. Oh, okay, so then now I can let's be your be boyfriend. Let's be very clear. You're about looking like a dead bird. And look at Fly you. Fly and say, you fucking insect, honey. Insect. Honey. insect. Uh, look at Hashtag that. a bug's life, baby. <laughs> Bitch, I'm here every day. Y'all drag me and y'all put me in the lowest man on the totem pole. Why the fuck am I sitting behind somebody like that? It's extremely fucked up and it's also fucked up to look past my feelings and you know, not even understand where the hurt and, you know, the things that I said where they come from. Stop defending somebody that rarely defends you. You just make nobody defending me. your big ass. I don't need nobody to defend my big ass. I can yeah. defend myself. Yeah, well, it but don't seem like it. You I'm too lazy. I want that house for you, love. I want that house for Well, I'm going to try to get them back in here. We'll see if I can do it. I don't want to hear nothing guys like this because you look at me. They all tried to have a nice time at a few events, from a trip in Nala to the turnabout. Just when we thought the good times were ahead, a curveball of shade was thrown into play. Let's take a look. <laughs> New Orleans, baby. When I tell y'all I am so excited to touch down on this pre all store. Me and my little $2.50, I'm right off of bourbon. You know, Reese is about 25 minutes outside the city. Um, the year she's not coming because her family decided um, on her behalf that she wasn't coming. 
Oh. Kane's flight was actually delayed, and he, they said that I met, another flight won't be flying out until um, Sunday. Oh. It was with spirit, goddamn. Spirit tied me through airlines, okay? I just went home and laid on my fucking couch because I'm like, what the fuck? The next flight wasn't leaving until Sunday at 2. The trip would be over by then. It's that. Good morning. Okay. We're gonna go do a good old swamp tour. I know you used to swamp boogie, but we're gonna do a swamp tour. So George just said, I said, are you gonna make it by 12? He said, that's the plan, waiting on the car. How your friend a how your friend a flight attendant? You ain't got no flight. I don't fly buddy pass. I pay for my ticket. But now you waiting on the Uber. The boy called me Anthony, so I had to play the role. Y'all blew it up and made it big and then made the boy start feeling bad. And the fuck up like Chris. But Anthony was talking to him first. So that's why I gave him Anthony number. Was I wrong for that? Yes! That was probably Oh, Oh, she gonna accept the compliment? Oh, oh, girl, you not pretty, man. Yeah, so good job. We can go down. Nola, baby. Nola. Okay, so a lot happened. All right, so let's see. Who had the most fun? I think, well, me and my friend. Oh, yeah, well. We all had fun. Yeah, they were with me and my friends. <laughs> let's talk about you, Carrie D. Did you have a good time? Yeah. All right. Drunk. Sing a little ditty while you were on the boat there. Happy birthday. <laughs> To you. Happy birthday to you. All right, man. All right. George? <laughs> oh, it was a good time. Anytime I go to New Orleans, it's like get drunk and have a good time. Yeah. And that's just what I did. That's why my hotel would be so, you know, close <laughs> to the urban. Uh, quick, quick so I can just, do, right, we can walk back. Yeah, we didn't have to Uber. <laughs> Reese. That was fun. We had a really good time. Okay. I wish everybody would have came, though. So, I mean, I think it would have been. Too. I think, honestly I speaking, think after all of that, I think if Dior would have came, I think it would have kind of, kind of, I guess, calmed the waters for At the rest for of the season. Moment. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I really wanted that. Uh, so, there were questions. Oh, I, wait. Oh, yeah. No, maybe not, because I'm delusional. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. Everybody on this couch ha has said that you're delusional. It's right. like just a known thing. I am. Oh, okay. Oh. I am. Yeah. Oh. Very. I mean, it's just a known delusional. thing. Delusional. Okay. <laughs> Two L's. I think, can we all Very. agree to that? Yeah. Let's not forget, no, nasty no. and fat, too. <laughs> Oh, well, we've so never said yeah. that. Well, I mean, did. I'm just, I'm just acknowledging what, what the king said. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> you, were, yeah, you were there. It was, how was it, Markel? It was my first time going. It first was fun. Um, there was really no drama at all. Like we all. It I, just seemed like I saved my Backstreet Boys. Yeah, yeah. We had their trade. One of the things that I found to be funny was, and I, you know, I made a joke about it before. Where I felt that there were people that were there from the witness protection program. <laughs> <laughs> I.e. George, George's friends. Or I just pick with the situation, but there's a little bit of, of information about that. I, Auntie made a joke, but what was really behind that? So all of my friends were amazing to me. Um, so of course, if they came to New Orleans, they knew we were going to be filming. Yeah. So they knew, right? And they were open to being on film. Okay. Um, Reese reached out to me. Um, she's so ready to get in here and try to eat it up. <laughs> Reese reached out to me and was like, hey, can you send me your friend's emails? Uh -huh. I provide them to her. Now, I don't know if Reese think when she sent an email, I'm going to respond in five minutes because I work for a living in real life. Mm -hmm. So when I saw the emails, I sent her all three of their emails, right? Now, mind you, this was the day before the episode was going to drop. Well, that morning, my friends reached out and said, hey, no, I actually reached out to them because we have a group message. And I said, hey, did y'all receive y'all release forms from Reese? From Reese? They was like, no, we haven't heard anything from Reese. And then I reached back out to Reese and Reese said to me, oh, well, disregard the email I sent you yesterday. And I was just like, OK, well, I'm guessing they're just going to edit them completely out. And then my other friend, that one of my friends that went, reached out to me and was like, why is Richie DMing me when you've already provided her with the information? And then she sent my friend, I got, the, I got it. She sent my friend the same email saying, you were in a lot of uh, scenes in New Orleans. You can use this as your release form. Just respond to this email, which he did, which is the same email that she sent to Carrie's friend. And he responded, and he wasn't blurred, but then all three of my friends were blurred. But what I find so amazing, my best friend, who's a friend of the show, has been in multiple episodes, and they don't have not one release form for him, and he's not blurred out. But then my friends that provided, I provided the information to her, yeah. all three of them was blurred out. So it almost looked like, as I said, like they needed, they were so 
ready to make me look bad every moment they got on this show that they did that you know so come on and she's a good speaker by the way i mean she can lie really good he responded almost 24 hours later we have a cut off it wasn't accepted done with that um at the christmas that party is he um that is he never the friend um wasn't I, he was just there at the event so i mean there wasn't a need for it it's, let me tell you why this is bullshit. she said well i responded 24 hours in advance and it was past cut off well if it was 24 hours in advance past cut off why the hell were you reaching out to my other friend saying Oh, you were in a lot of scenes. You can use this as your release form. When I reached out to those people. It doesn't people, make sense. When I see, reached out, you're going to let me talk? You, you go ahead and talk, liar. Thank you. You're welcome. So, and delusional. Don't forget it. Oh, we already um, know so that. So, the thing about it is too. this. So, <laughs> when I reached out, because George had not been in communication with us. Blocked your ass. So, you right. He did. Block. Yeah. All of y'all. Great. And so, <laughs> the thing about it is. Press, honey. The thing about it is, when he, oh, he when he didn't communicate, oh, he did we have this. to move on. We have to move on. on. If you don't communicate with what production is requesting, <laughs> you have to move on. If you had to so, move I took on, it upon myself. I took it upon to my myself. Because you had not responded. Girl, what I happened work was, for a you did. You work in a call center, whatever you do for a time. Oh, I don't work in a call center. I work for a living. So, that's fine. That's great. Make your money. Make your money. Good. Work. This production Work. team. When Hella. when it's when it's beneficial for them, it's on their time. Okay. I'm gonna give you an example. I was scheduled to do a green screen, Ooh, right? Hella. My my haircuts are fifty dollars a wop. I go mm. to the box shop every week. Mm -hmm. I was scheduled to do a green screen. Mm. They emailed me two hours before my green screen, mm -hmm. which was on a Wednesday. I get my haircut every Friday, so through my haircut pattern off, mm. right? <laughs> they emailed me haircut two pattern. hours before their green screen to yeah. say, "Oh, we're going to cancel your green screen." So that following week, they tried to rebooked my green screen. I had class, so I waited. I was being petty. An hour before the green screen and emailed them and said, oh, I'm, I have class tonight. Then they sent me an email saying, well, you know, you have to give a 24 hour advance and if you're going to cancel, mm -hmm. I'm clean. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, so we, now we're working with double standards. Yeah. Talking about y'all was wrapping up film. We had just got done. Bullshit. How you figure? I know it was bullshit. How you figure? Because you told it? multiple cast members, shy, I won't go into that because I didn't see right. it for I him. Didn't, I didn't want to yeah, go bitch, and we had, that my and we was had wrapped well up. well put together, bitch, and your shit was just thrown up I didn't care. I didn't even want to do the party. I didn't even want to do the party. Did you Did you invite a thousand? How many did you invite? It wasn't. You should have come. You could have networked, honey. Oh. <laughs> I probably could have. All right. So keeping up with the drama here, as we have going on, birthday parties are supposed to be a time to celebrate the person of the night. When Reese G invited everyone to perform, he left out one person on the guest list. When George did not get an invite, he came anyway. Let's take a look. Reese is having a birthday party, and guess who's not on the invite list? You guessed it, me. I just felt some type of way. I felt like I wasn't invited. You wasn't. I felt like you didn't speak that night. I did. And I think I'm doing the wrong. I just wanted to apologize. You know I have all the income. You see that? I have not. I don't okay. think I've seen Bainton to work at a crow. So before I get up and smack her ass, I'm going to go ahead and exit because I don't want to have to lose my cool in public with all these good, good, good folks at this pizza place. Oh, so y'all have a good night. All right. I love y'all. We love you too. And have a good night, George. Yes. Reese did the most intelligent thing I've ever seen her do. Get up and leave. All right, so let's get all right on into it. Okay, Reese, why didn't you invite George to the party? I didn't want him there. So let me tell you why Reese did not invite me to the party. I didn't okay, want him there. so she's saying that now. So let me tell you, anybody know me? Don't waste my time. So I had so we Markel, Reese, and I were supposed to do an event at my home. Everybody know I don't cook. So when I go out and spend my money to cater food in, buy drinks, then I have an expectation that your ass go show up. Okay, because now my money on the line. So, uh, like 45 minutes before the event, I called Markel to see what type of, did they want liquor or wine? Markel says, did you not talk to Risa or Risa hasn't reached out to you at all? And I was like, reach out to me about what? She was like, well, I talked to her earlier today or him earlier today and the scene is canceled. So I was 
I was past pissed off because now I don't raise it almost a hundred dollars trying to appease these girls for this green, for this scene in my house. So the next day, I'm, this is why I wasn't invited to a party because I reached out to them in email and production is here and I emailed all they asses and I told them this. I said, listen, it's fourth quarter of the year. I have a lot of shit going on. I have a lot of black tie events I have to attend. Today, I actually did not go to a black tie event for this shit. And for you not to show up, and I told them, don't waste my money and don't waste my goddamn time. Reese then responded with this whole delusional ass email. I read the first two lines, and I saw what mindset she was. Say, I'm a grown ass man. You can talk that shit with these other people, but you ain't gonna talk to me crazy. I responded to that email, and I said, I read the first two lines, and I stopped reading. I said, when you want to have an adult conversation with me, then we can talk and we can have a conversation. But until then, we ain't got shit to talk about. That's why I wasn't invited to the party because here's the thing: there was no shade between her and I. When she all of a sudden come up with this shade towards George. Where did it come from? Because the bitch is pressed. She's pressed. Okay. She's deluded when she's trying to find a way. Here and down. Okay, Reese. Oh, I'm not trying to find a way. I you're trying to find a way because you spoke in this bitch, found. this girl here in Atlanta, and you down here in Dallas in the bottom no. of the fucking barrel. The, oh, oh my. Swimming. So the, oh. Delusionally. So the, what so. George has brought up, is there validity to that? Uh, no, I just re I didn't want him to come to be honest because we were not. Wait, well, was that a club? I was coming anyway. Like, she lying. What had to do with was at when when you did the critique mm -hmm. about uh, you know him where he worked and everything like that. Oh, okay, okay. Well, the thing that that whole game. Which of course brings us to the weakest person of the week. Incidentally, is George, or as your counterpart say, Georgina. When he had the picture and then he texted. Okay, me, yes, I remember. And I he was about really that. upset yeah. about that. Okay. Yeah. I. He was upset about it. Yeah. So from that point on, everything that may have looked at as a, a gray area was was a problem between us. To be oh, very honest, girl, is that because that we were just is, fine? Let me tell you, was, you when I came up, when I came, it wasn't with Malice. Right, right. I mean, and we had know. a conversation. Yes. When I came, when Reese asked me to be a part of season one, I told Reese the reason why I did not want to be a part of season one because in the real world, I have a legitimate corporate career that can be backed. Okay, so when I came to season two, her and I had a conversation, and I said, Risa, we can talk about a lot, but I don't want no feminine at my job, and no pictures of me at my desk, my name tag, or anything. When the episode dropped, and you show, I wouldn't have had a problem if my name tag went on. Okay. I reached out to her because when you sign up on this thing, she can talk to you where you can kind of build trust, like she has your better, your better judgment or whatever. So I reached out to her as the producer. EP and the bitch gave me just a motherfucking response like she didn't give a fuck. Oh, well, uh, those are paid advertising. We can't edit those. Let me, can I pause you for one minute? Carrie, do you seem to have some energy down there I would like to address? Baby, <laughs> everything he's saying is the same thing that was happening here. So it's like, it's like trying to get it converse with Reese on certain levels. You think no. you have this rapport with him or you think you have, you know. You can't trust and it's him. Like every time it's like something gets in the way and it's like, girl, Ain't like there was a, like for me, and I don't mean to, this ain't got shit to do with what y'all talking about. But every time I had a, uh, an event, it was like we were asked to do work scenes and all this good jazz. I submitted five, I only shit, one show. And then they they'll start coming, or that we're coming. We set up these little, we come into it the day of, or the, um, maybe I don't even get a notification that it's been canceled. Mm -hmm. Nothing of that nature. So I. But you do something wrong. But you saw, so, and I want I want to kind of address that because there were people that were saying, and that this was a general critique from the audience out there that they didn't see much chasing. I've also because submitted scene requests for work scenes, and I've been declined, and I've been declined, or it doesn't fit my storyline. Where does me doing hair does not fit my storyline? Don't make sense because that's why I signed up to be on the show. So it was just like, and then the one scene that they did get me, they were basically telling me, "Oh, we don't know if we're gonna come. We don't know if we're gonna come." But as soon as they found out that it was a news release and it was gonna be on TV, oh, they show up. Half the time I'm late because I'm always late everywhere because I'm my hands is some bitch head. So let let's do a response to that. As far as sure, the, um, any response that I give is not gonna be accepted anyway. It can be accepted, and we can appreciate a response actually. The thing about it is when they submit work scenes, mm -hmm. they can be accepted or declined. I committed to showing for the audience to understand what these people do, and I committed and did that. So I can't. It's it, there is we all have lives, mm -hmm. right? I have a very delusional one, <laughs> but the thing about it is there are things that I still have to do for myself. And so being that I think that a lot of people expected for me to be uh, more 
personal with them and more um more understanding and not as strict or not as direct or not as short the expectation was not set for me to film my own scenes the, uh, the expectation right. was not because i showed and get a production credit uh, the expectation was not set that the only time you see me perform was when i go to atlanta to sh the film with chasing atlanta like i'm on chasing dallas what am i here for the, the expectation was like we want to see you perform we want to see you do a song with someone else we want to do all these things i hit and i put this in an email to him because I was very, I was just like at my wits end. Cause the email was very belligerent. It, okay, girl, sure. <laughs> sure was. It was very belligerent, yeah. Sure Good. Was. Sure was. Um, it was. It, it even to the point where it was like losing scenes I send you. I send these to you for you to go, girl. The scene was what? never lost. It was sent so far a long time ago. I just couldn't find it in the email, but we found it. it. But, but that's what you communicated Continue, go ahead. to me, and that's my issue. And this is why she should be an EP. If you had these things, if these things were dropped or whatever the fuck, you could have said that. Come on, and whatever. I I've, always, that. Uh -uh. I've always apologized. <laughs> if, always a, if, apologize. a ball, if, if a ball was dropped with you. Your apology is wrapped in this, oh, well, this is, you know, is this just an expectation? No, that's no, not girl. true. That's not no, true. Girl. And with you in particular, oh God, Carrie, yeah. With you in particular, in particular, let's be very clear. Okay. Every time that I was not able to do something, I supplemented it with something else. Wow. Let's something be very clear. I put you in group scenes because you said you did not want to be in the drama. Let's at the okay. beginning. You put you. I put you in group scenes to speak. But every on time, your own. Every time you when I was not film, able to film up? something, every when I was not able to film I something, I follow up and said, "This is what we're going to do for you. This is how we're going to do this." I have always spoken transparently to you. You just did not like how you were not, people did not have the opportunity to see your personality or okay, fall in love with you or whatever. Just say what that was. was so yeah. you're saying you filmed your own scene and it was not shown? Right. No, those ended up getting sung, but I didn't get no production her problem credit. Is that, and then, her and problem then when is I that need, when she when needs things said, from me, like bring the friends, she'll send it to me the day beforehand. The she felt like the, the because day beforehand. she only I guess Carrie, you was chasing being no cameraman for chasing me. We can give her that. I mean, it's not much. But what's the problem? It sounds like she needs to be on a step a step two corrective action plan. <laughs> she needs to be rolled up. The audience says, and I've heard whispers about too, it seems that the problem, one of the biggest problems, mm -hmm. is that people cannot stomach Reese being a cast member and on production. She can't right. either, because so she is too much work for her. She can't either. Let's talk about what that means. But she can't stomach it either, because it's too much work for her. She just said let's it basically. Let's go here first. No, I can't, I can't uh, make it to every scene. I can't make it here. I can't make it there. And then you also make it to all of your scenes, and you can make it to all of your filming. So it's like, uh, make it equal here. Okay. Yeah. Let's just go down the line, just really quickly. So if you got a, if you got a, if you got a production team of three, if you can't make it to my birthday party, sit in. They That's all I gotta say. Next. They didn't want to go. Next. Okay. But that production. Like exactly. Right. So shit, they ain't got no all damn right. wants. That production. All right. all right, all right, Markel, do you have anything to say to that? This is one or two line, and we're gonna they let Reese address all. Leadership. I mean, the only thing I was gonna say was the same thing he said. That shows your leadership. If Reese can't make it, then someone else could have. Okay. Very true. But if they yeah, don't want to go, I can't make them go. All love it. it just, he, he should just be the cast member because he didn't do. I don't see an EP. I didn't see one. Mm. Okay, Ariel. All of our relationships with each other are different, mm -hmm. and I think we all know that. My relationship with Reese is one that's completely different from y'all's. Mm -hmm. I personally think that she's good as an EP. I also think that she's good on the cast. Mm -hmm. I just think that when the drama and the mess and the stuff like it, she is still a human. Yeah, it's hard to pull, you know, away from the situations and stuff that y'all. And I know you feel like you probably do, but it's that's hard. To, like you're only human. I uh, I hear all of that, but when I ask you, hey, what the, what can I do to help you? How can I make this smoother? And you say, no, I got it. No, I got it. We don't need help. Mm. Oh, girl. Yes, you do. You clearly do. Okay. <laughs> clearly do. I, do, I, I and, I think that everything is a growing <laughs> process, though. Yeah. You know, a, a growing learning Trey don't process. count. Trey quit the show eight times. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything to say to that, Trey? Do you, do you? I've said it before. I just feel like EP Reese should just be you, the EP on the cast. That's how I feel. Okay. One or the other. Yeah, because it's even outside of the show, it's hard to differentiate those two relationships exactly. as well, too. Yeah. So yeah. I'd rather it just be separated. That makes sense. Yeah. King, King came finally. Yeah. I agree with okay. everything he just said. Okay, okay. okay. Reese, a response to all. Perception is key. Whatever they think is what they think. However they feel is how they feel. I just think that at times, give me just a little leeway. Okay. If you, if you, have, if you, if you have all these problems, express them to me and ask me why. 
okay. did, and that's you fine. don't accept responsibility. And you have to be a leader. And when you have a team that's telling you an issue, you have to okay. take that. I'll, okay. I can help we you with managing. All right. It's all right. All right. So we are going to go to a commercial break, and we will be right back. Coming up on the Chasing Dallas reunion. You suggested Kane to style Kerry D for his photo shoot because I wasn't a good look. I'm like, why would you do that? That's not true. But I don't understand. It's I just don't for understand. The, it's just the for the look. look. I don't understand. I don't understand. Listen, we had a we had a heart to heart. I apologize. It's okay. Friend. It's not accepted. I don't. I don't. I know feel. But I'm the saying. thing is, I feel. I feel, I feel your heart. I do. What's up, everybody? It's Reese G, not Cardi B, but I still get to the mic on Chris, and I am here to tell you about some new music that is dropping tomorrow. Tizo Sanchez is dropping his new mixtape, East Coast of General, and it's going to be on all streaming platforms. What you got? Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, SoundCloud. It's going to be everywhere. So make sure you take a moment and support your indie artists because we here at Chase Reality love all of our indie artists. Again, Tizo Sanchez, East Coast of General, will be dropping tomorrow. Forever ride you, my love, diamond test, screaming. Too many Indians, too many chiefs. Not enough Indians. So I'm supposed to be EP right now, too? or? I'm not even talking to you or about you. Can you ask the question, George? Wait, just ask the question. I like your whitening. Looks good. Still a little brown at the bottom. Why are you reading? I'm still white. Just ask the question. Still a little brown at the bottom. Ooh, be careful. And we are back. We are rejoined with our own Trey Howard. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. Howard, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I had some water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, an award-winning web series, Chasing Dallas, has really been at the helm of reality television. When the show won an award for the best YouTube series, it opened up the door for many to walk into. The group enjoyed themselves and took home some awards. You would have had no idea that just days before, another Facebook trigger and a new can of worms to be opened just like the door. My goodness. Watch this. So I, brought, I had a conversation with Trey Howard. Not him, not him going online, crying. Fuck, would you try to snub me in different ways while I'm trying to get my name out? You know that's a fucking big platform, right? Set up your motherfucking life to sit here and be coupled up with bitches that's gonna help you get to the top. Gay families where I come from are totally different from what's out here. Girl, you don't know what about our family. So, you don't know anything. You don't know anything. You're talking you at your you ass. You're talking at the ass you're in you're those tight ass pants. Because of my child made a comment because he was happy to see his daddy perform for the very first time and his auntie perform for the very first time. Time. So he decided to make a comment about those two people. You feel like it was shade towards you? You just say it was shade too. What's changing? Yeah, you made the you also, awareness, you also, the awareness of several you things are changing. Made, you also people made, recognizing what I'm doing in this city is changing. Right. You wanted to be on this platform, right. and it ain't changing. It was a shady ass post that she posted on Facebook, and she knew it was shady. Okay. Then here come her people in the comments commenting on Facebook and they knew that was shady. See, this is the very shit that I'm actually talking about within the Dallas community. It's hard for anyone, I feel like they, they see the young generation as people that are just wanting to party when it's actually people here who want to network and build their resume or their brand is just having a lack of opportunity. Girl, I'm not a her, that's so, what you got the him. pronouns. Are whatever you want to be, so or whatever is, synthetic way you want to wear, that's what you do. But don't, I'm not a her, I'm a man. You was basically on the live saying like, they came in with nasty ass tattoos. Keep in mind, we was there a whole hour before everybody I wasn't doing that towards you. Well, they are part of me. Where I come from, when it comes down to gay families, you got the mother, you got the father. The children act like the mother and the father. My thing is, if I haven't exemplified something to you personally, because you don't know who I help, you don't know what I do, only thing you see is on social media and what you hear that's false from other people. If you need anything business wise, I'll be more than happy to help you out as best I can, but you know, y'all make home safe, you know, and, and, and y'all just have a good Sunday. Okay. All right, so we just saw that. So let's just get right on into it, Trey Howard. Hi. So when you made that comment on Facebook, were you trying to be shady? 
Um, I mean, I was just congratulating Dior and Ariel. I feel like, I mean, if, if, if it was a shady post, then it was a shady post, but I was really just congratulating Ariel and my dad on a great show because I've never seen Dior perform, and I know Ariel is a performer. Okay, makes sense. So, so <laughs> why stop. did that make you so angry when you saw that? Well, it wasn't the, po what, the post. When the post was made, I just put the thinking emoji up under it. Okay. You know, it was just like, I didn't think it would go that far with another comment that came after it. That's what triggered the post. Okay. Yeah. That's what triggered me going live. So, just, I mean, the conversation just went really deep. So, I mean, that's, that, are we, is it squashed now? Are y'all okay? Um, I don't feel like it's squashed. I just feel like this whole experience for me, I have put myself out there to be this person who is chasing the dream, just like I guess everybody else who wanted to put their stuff out there, yeah. they did. But I feel like where my eye, or I feel like they dropped the ball on me, is where they considered me less, I feel like I was considered less than lowest man on the totem pole because of this quote unquote cast B thing. It's like, I get y'all wanna be the whole cast B, cast A thing, but this is what I do for a living. This is my life, this is my dream. I wake up every morning hoping I can do this for a living and not do a nine to five, I work a nine to five. So, for you to sit here and snub me in different ways, irritates the hell out of me. There was a point in time where you suggested Kane to style Kerry D for his photo shoot because I wasn't a good look. I'm like, why would you do that? That's not true. But That's not what I said. Is that what happened? That's, what That's happened. not what I said. That's but I got I the message. It said, why don't you suggest? Well, he said I don't. Why? Why That's don't you suggest Kane? He's a better look. And why? Why, why would you say that? I'm no, a stylist? What as I well. did was I suggested that hurt my Kane. Feelings. I suggested, and I apologize but for that. But why, though? And I apologize for that. I but suggested Kane because it would have been Kane a style. worthy. Hold on one second. What? Let me just say it. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I suggested Kane because it would have been a work scene for Kane. It would have been a collaboration with him. Mm -hmm. Carrie didn't agree with that. Okay. I said, okay. okay. I said, okay, well, since we don't, we don't really have the time, mm -hmm. honestly. Mm -hmm. I said, so what we'll do is we, because we couldn't necessarily follow Trey Howard in that moment, mm -hmm. to be honest. It was about him, and then I was like, well, why can't we just throw him in there? So I just find so amusing how yeah. she was working, or how she worked di diligently to get Kane a work scene. Why couldn't she have done that for the rest of us? I did. You no. did, you did I not send emails? After, 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 after we started talking about like, work scenes. No, no, no. After, after, I constantly after. sent no, tons and tons no, of emails. No, ma'am. No, 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 let's, let's, let's look at it this way. Can I have a question for you two, Trey? Do you see why they may feel this way? Whether you agree yeah. with it or not, you I see. see why? Yeah. Okay. And then, but uh, honestly, when I was responding, I didn't think that it would be taken that way. To be honest. Okay. I didn't. Okay. So you don't feel she like don't you think said, a lot of stuff is analysis. taken that way? No, oh, I didn't. Okay. I was being honest. Okay. All right. And then Trey, for you, just just to look at the at the I other don't side. See it because do the you? Same time that he could put King Hank in, the same time me and King Hank are we're stylists. That's what we do. If I if it was an opportunity that I, I didn't have to, we're not following me. Okay, I'm casting whatever. And it was an opportunity I asked you. If I if I needed to do a work scene, could I do it with another cast member? Cast. Hey, did y'all hear that when I asked on the on the conference call? Yeah. I said what? We, yeah, but I did. So, so, yeah. then, so then why it, it doesn't make sense for me to do the style, it just doesn't make sense. It makes sense for more for Kane to do it because I'm cast B, but I'm thinking you told us to do work scenes with cast A anyway. Okay. So what's the Okay. Okay. So that's why I feel like... It wasn't just, shade, Trey. But it, it wasn't. But when I talk to you, Reese, I swear to God, it wasn't I, feel, shade. I feel like you snubbed me every time. And it's so hurtful. And I have apologized for that. I worked my ass off. I understand. I worked my I understand. ass off, period. I understand. No matter what y'all can say, I work my ass I understand. Off. And that's I why when I, stop six. the conversation that we had when I did your last green screens, is that not valid anymore? Because we had a very that's good conversation. Still, I, I have apologized time, for, time, but why am I sitting time right here again. Some open spot right there where I can see my full outfit, but I'm sitting behind the couch like I'm a husband. <laughs> I don't understand. It's just I don't for understand. The, it's just for the, the look. I don't understand. I don't understand. Listen, we had a we had a heart to heart. I apologize. It's okay, Trey. It's not accepted. I don't I don't. Know I feel, but the thing is, I feel I, I feel your heart. I do. I, I feel that you really want to to have your voice heard artistically, and I, I think that there's a moment for this. Is there any way that we can grow from this? It's okay. Just open up your heart, Trey. Okay, just just listen, Reese. You too. Is there some way where we can grow from this? Can we do anything about this? Can we fix this? I honestly what thought, can happen from this? I'm, I'm not a hurt. I, I don't hate Reese. I don't believe that. I don't believe you my do. Life is open. I do believe. So many times I, I said when he said when I finally got to sign my contract. I yeah. Said, if you want to go shopping, you can teach me because he was talking me. I was talking about a style and stuff. I was talking about styling things. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know. All right. And that's a, I think there's an opportunity here, but something's getting, right. and I, I'm finding Huge. this with almost every argument and disagreement that we've been having that we've been talking about since the beginning of this day. There's something that's breaking down in communication. 
that is causing a lot of ill feelings that don't have I just, to be. I, I honestly just don't think that they consider how they communicate. I really don't. I'm not, not talking about you, not talking about you, not talking about you. Okay. I just don't. I really don't. And I think that they have this expectation of what I'm supposed to do with my job and all of this. Okay. But they don't consider because they don't know. Nobody knows me outside of the people that know me the most hit sitting here is Markel and Trey Womack. Okay. Those are the only two that know exactly what's what. You know they know. That? So that's, they know exactly. <laughs> and so my thing is with Trey Howard, my thing with Trey Howard is he knows why I didn't be a a presence or a mentor, whatever you want to say. Okay. Out of respect for Dior. Well, why would that be like out of respect said, for me? Because you I'm have not going to gonna stop nobody I'm, mentoring this young man. I Just because I miss father don't can mean I nobody speak? can't mentor can him speak? outside of can me. Can I speak? That would be, that would be honest, fucked up for me as a father. This but is an honest good, moment dedicated point. directly to you. Okay. I want you to hear me directly when I say everything I'm about to say. You know exactly why I distanced myself from you at the beginning. You were told that. And I confirmed that. Because of, of Dior being his father? Exactly. Okay. Not because not because I thought he was a bad father. No. Not because of any of that. But you didn't when want you upstage do, or, or kind I of did not want to put, put myself in a situation to seem like I'm trying to step in and be a parent or be that thing. Because that's his job. I'm being very honest. Did you have that I'm being conversation very honest. with him about No, that? I just stayed away because I didn't want that. See, I think that that probably would have been nice for y'all to have that conversation. Because I, I don't right. know. It's, there's plenty of people that mentor this young man. Yeah. Yeah. And that may be true. It takes a village. You know Does it I not? Didn't, I just, I mean, if anybody who's a gay parent knows, like, you can't just stop somebody else from teaching them. It might be some stuff that he knows that I don't know. So. That's, that's, that's not what I'm used to. Well, okay, okay. You, it's, a it's a different dynamic. So listen, so listen, what I see that's is stupid. Okay, what I see is we have different experiences And delusional. Here. This is yeah, what I think. This is what I think. I need you to hear me, everyone. What I've been saying is as I've been brought onto this show to be the voice of the audience, there's so much more fighting and chasing that can be done. And this is just, just real. This is aside from TV and ratings and all this bullshit. It's fine. What I see is this. There is so much you've already done in the world of reality TV that has pushed the idea forward. That you don't have to do the same equation that, that Real Housewives does. You don't have to do what Love and Hip Hop does. You don't have to do what Black Ink does. You don't have to fight like that. You actually have valid careers that may be in their infancy, but if you fight along those lines, you can really shake the game. I agree. I, I hope that going forward that there's more. I, I'm calling that there's going to be more going forward and that it can be raised to a different level. To put this on the can floor. I say something? Hold yeah, on, I just need to get okay. this out. Just for, I need to get okay. this out for okay. Trey Howard. I okay. really do. I, I did my hustle and I did my job. I may be discredited, but I hustle and I did my job as a stylist. And I know how hard it is. I know. I know how hard it is to have things taken for you, from you. I know how it is to have people ridicule you for just being who you are. We have so many parallelities. Nope, they, they don't understand. Mm. So, of course, I wanted to be that, that person. Okay. Big sis, big whatever you want to call it. Okay. I wanted to be that person, mm -hmm. but maybe I could have communicated a okay. little bit clearer. Okay. But when we did our last green screens, and I told you exactly what it was, I meant every word that I said, because I see the dynamic. So I'm going to, I'm always a man of my word, whether people want to take it from me or not. I do everything that I say I'm going to do. Okay. Whether they don't see the way that it should have been done, I'm going to do okay. what I say I'm going to do. Can you, can you receive that from him? Can you? Are, are you are you okay with this? I mean, I know that you just said that you were, but like, just just the conversation that should have taken place that didn't. I mean, that letting Reese know that that wasn't a dime, that wasn't an issue. I just think it was an excuse. I just want to say, like, to Howard, I do it's understand it's your I understand your frustration. I know how hard it is to want to get clients, want to be booked, want to do this in the fashion where it's hard. Yes, obviously, yes. But I do still feel like you had some great moments this season where oh, you I showed what the fuck I you do. Too. So I think you should hold on to that and just know that you did push through. You had two great events. I, I mentioned that. I mean, I, and I said that, and this was not with shade to anyone at all, I promise. Because we learned why certain stuff wasn't seen. But I remember I specifically said that. Like, I remember your two events vividly and how well they were put together. So I think that some of the things that you're feeling on the inside, they're valid. I get it. But give, your, give yourself a pat on the back for a lot of things that happened that, you know, in many realms wouldn't have happened for a B, a B cast member. And that there's room for growth. All right. So we're going to be right back after this final commercial break. Coming up on the Chasing Dallas reunion. To my understanding, I don't think that there's a season three. You know, honestly, truly, I feel that I'm great for television. 
um, and I'll do it again. You know, if an opportunity presents and, you know, it was managed correctly. It could be better. Okay. I mean, she could still, I mean, if she was still the EP and better edit, instead of trying to be more than one person at a time, mm -hmm. then it, it could be better. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. 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 What's up, everybody? It's Reese G, not Cardi B, but I still get to the money. Oh, cool. And I'm here with another message from the generous queen, AKA the long nail diva. She has a new product, simply tags, long nail diva tags. What you do is you peel it, you place it, and you pull it. For all those girls that have a tough time getting their credit cards out when you out there shopping for your long nail diva merch, all you have to do is, all you have to do is take this cute little tag, peel it, place it and pull your credit cards right out. You can go right on over to her Facebook right now, The Generous Queen, and purchase today. And I always tell her what Reese G sent you. And we are back. What better way to bring people together than over a meal? The group sat down for one last supper to hash out any problems that they had. Unfortunately, this gathering of the minds over food turned into a gather of wreaths of shade. Let's take a look. The only reason that you're here, bitch, the only reason that you're here, the only reason you can walk around this city and not get your ass beat because you keep burning bridges with people is because of me, ho. You asked him for his number if he was single. You knew he was already with you. the fuck I asked for your number. I was the only bitch that held you down when you moved here, bitch. I was the only bitch who held you down, ho. I was the only bitch. And you talked about me like a motherfucking, like a motherfucking bitch. I was the only 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 He went in your inbox as well, right? Mm -hmm. He was in my inbox as well back in 2018 because he went live mm -hmm. on a, I did a review and said that I was a weirdo. I broke him in the club mm -hmm. and I was a fan and I wanted to be mm -hmm. with him. No. Oh. First and foremost, here it is right here. Kane asked me right here, can we cuddle? I'm saying. Now, I saw the, I saw the, I saw it. Can we cuddle? I'm saying. I saw it and I didn't respond. I'm like, I've only met this guy one time and that's weird. You think you're just gonna come in my house? I don't move like that. Watch the insecurity jump out of Georgina when I'm like, well, I know everybody works nine to five, but what is everybody chasing? As soon as the camera shut off, the bitch like, Hey, why, why you bring up my iPad? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, damn well, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. You said, but I ain't say it like that. You know, I didn't say it like that. Brother, honey, I never came to do that. Sorry for your loss. I'm praying for you. He should have been here to defend his name and say why he said what he said. That, but you not because you a pussy. She sent me an email saying that we won't do X, Y, and Z because she's going through a financial damnation. She's currently getting evicted. Girl, this is not for you. This is what I'm doing. And you want to know why I sent you that? And you want to know why I sent you that? Because you've been running the wildly telling everything that we got going on over here per Dior. I was the only bitch who held you down, ho. I was the only bitch, the only motherfucker who looked out for you, bitch, and you turned on me like a motherfucking snake, and you ran to people you did not motherfucking know, and you talked about me like a motherfucking, oh, like a motherfucking, me. Me. a motherfucking me. dog will fuck you up tonight. Hey, DJ, cut the camera and, and escort the person off. Hey, 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 all right, I've been trying to fix shit all day. All right, so since we couldn't do a successful spoon, um, sharing at the final supper, I decided that we would bring spoons in now and give it one more go. We have everyone here, and I just want to give everybody one final chance to just say what you need to say. Don't make it long, and don't jump up and fight nobody. <laughs> say what you need to say from your heart. All right, we'll start with Carrie D. This experience has been fun. It's been a great experience. I learned a lot of new traits I didn't know I had, you know, like shooting and producing my own stuff. But, um. Change the self Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, but, um, with. I don't know. I don't got nothing. I, like, you got I, I done said what I had to say. I just really. I like you said a lot today. I did. Is there, is there was nothing you want to see going forward? What would that be? Just one thing. Accountability. Okay. I would like to see us all be accountable for what we do and do not do. Okay. And also be honest about that in the moment and not try to make it anything that it's not. Okay. Fair. 
Ariel? Um, I had an amazing experience of whatever being on this cast with all these people. I do hope that sometimes in the future we will be able to bond at least a little bit as friends and family since we all share the one common thing in, uh, you know, in this community, which is that we're all gay and, you know, with targets on our backs and, you know, we're all black as well. So at some point in time, successful. we have to, well, and we are all successful as well, yeah. you know, whether really, y'all believe it or not. But I mean, at some point in time, we have to, you know, put the petty shit down and bond. Okay. That's it. All right. That's a good spot. It is okay, good right. And it's third. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ain't no problem. Um, I would say that overall, I had a great time, a great experience. I've met new people, yeah, old bitch, people. You and the spoon. <laughs> Same <laughs> night. Okay, <laughs> like. um, the only thing that I regret is the demise of Reese and I's relationship. Mm -hmm. Other than that, um, I feel like, you know, me and Kane, we squashed it, which it really wasn't not that another yeah, deal. Yeah. And everybody else, I still love everybody else, but that would, that would, that would be my only thing. Um, <laughs> so, wow. This has been very, very, a very humbling experience, needless to say. I was supposed to be season one, and I didn't follow through with it. So um, season two definitely taught me some things about myself. Um, I got stronger and better. <laughs> I made some friends. Um, I have no regrets. I mean, everything happened for a reason. I learned from the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, I think I can honestly say that right now I'm on good terms with everybody here on the cast. I have no bad blood, no hostility, no nothing towards them. So I think a lot has changed over the year that I've been doing this. So. Find some time. Awesome. Trey, one more. I'm a Trey. Sorry, Howard. Forgive me. Um, I think this experience has been something that has taught me to kind of grow a little bit more and not um, stick to just um, the old thing of just stop going to the past and just living my truth and just let everybody know the real me and show my talent as much as I can. So, yeah. I mean, it was a good experience. Good. Let's go ahead and pass to George. George. So it's been a great experience. Um, I can honestly say here on this cast, I believe that some of us are bosses in our own lanes um, that we can actually back up in real life, not versus just on camera. Um, and it's, it's been a great experience. And I, you know, honestly, truly, I feel that I'm great for television um, and I'll do it again, you know, if an opportunity presents and you know, it was managed correctly, I think I would do it again. And I've met some amazing people. I've developed some amazing friendships. I think the most shocking friendship was with Ariel um, that I've developed uh, with this cast member. But yeah, it was great, a great run and it was good. It was good. Well, just from being on season one to season two, I do want to let Reese know that I think you did great with the casting. Mm -hmm. I think that you truly stepped your pussy up this season um, as far as production to me, the way that it looks um, and all of that. You know, I can't really speak on everybody else, how they feel about you, you know, not giving them their scenes and things. Um, but, you know, I didn't have an experience. But, you know, I do want to just let the whole cast know, like, I really didn't have no beef with none of y'all. Like, I really came this season, like, on some, oh, okay, so this is the cast, you know, it is what it is. We're going to get to know each other. Okay, you know, I'm staying out of the drama. You know, I'm not doing that this year. And I just hate how it happened. And uh, that's that. Okay. Um, it was a good learning experience. That's all I have to say. No, you don't. Hey, Give me more. I'm Give me th at least two lines. Did you do it again? What would you want to see going forward? If, if there's a going forward, what would you want to see? Going forward with? <laughs> this? Um, with, with Chasing with Reality? Yeah. Chasing Dallas? Mm -hmm. um, a better EP. OK. OK. Oh. That's all right, that's fine. So yeah. sad. Is that your only thought? Yeah. Okay. Would you Wouldn't do it again? Like better EP for him to get better, or, so, or, or for him to be replaced? <laughs> Shut up. Probably replaced. I, it wasn't clear. That, I, I, I mean, I have a feeling, but go ahead. When you say better, what does better mean to you? Um, I, I mean, honestly, I just does better mean better, or does better mean new? A write up. It could be better. Okay. I mean, she could still. I mean, if she was still the EP and better edit instead of trying to be 
more than one person at a time, mm -hmm. then it, it could be better. Mm -hmm. That's all. I mean, whether y'all get a new, whether it's a new one or a better one, it just needs to be better. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can take that. And Reese, finally. I just want to say that this season has been extremely um, taxing. It has been a huge learning experience, I can say that. It's been beautiful to see that my objectives at the beginning of the season have come to fruition because at the end of it, I really wanted to bring these people together. And it's amazing to see everybody, even outside of me, is, is clicking. Like, I think that's great. Um, when you know better, you do better. Mm -hmm. Mantra for myself. I can only strive to do better, and I hope that people in my life, out of my life, can consider that and not um, look to me or at me and put me in a specific place and have a specific expectation without getting to know me. Mm -hmm. and I thank everybody for being a part. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Okay. Well, give yourselves a hand first. <laughs> Um, what, mainly what I want to say, I had a pleasure watching all of you. I did. I, I know that um, with my embodiment that there's a lot of fun that comes with it. But I'm seriously, I care about people. And I want to see you do better. I really do. And just do your thing. I enjoy watching everybody flourish and, and just become. I think it's important. To my understanding, I don't think that there's a season three. I'm rebuking that. That is so stupid. I'm rebuking that. I, I, I see you going on and doing more. And I'm glad to be a part of your lives with this. I think that there is so much more you can accomplish. And as I was saying earlier, I really believe that what was accomplished this season, it did come to fruition. I believe that, that those plans are there. But I think that this can go further. I don't think that you have to do the traditional thing that everybody else does. I think that's the, that's the one gem that you all have that I don't think you're aware of. You don't have to follow the same thing. I'm listening and I'm looking at what everybody else is saying offline. And I'm telling you, they love what you're doing. You have Karamo, Coco. Um, what was the, all the other people that are watching you that are Yandy. who Yandy Sneak. Yandy Yandy people that have millions and millions of followers that are watching you So just take that in and I think that some people I think you all know that to some degree what you've got But now it's about how to put the puzzle together to make it work really really to fix This is a fixing day because I want you all to become what? Stronger! Stronger. And, and, yeah. All right, okay <laughs> So I've enjoyed this reunion. I see it for my babies. We're going to be coming back with the season three. I'm calling it. All right. I hope you enjoyed yourselves as well, too. My name is Imani Van Zapp, and I was here to help you fix your shit. And we'll see you in season three. Take care. I got you. you got a USB on there, right? See how it's better in the red? Okay. Uh, I have uh, this uh, thing so you can do it too.